Ever had trouble sleeping at night? If you have, you're not alone. We are embarking on a journey to explore a common sleep disorder that affects countless individuals worldwide. Insomnia. It's that pesky little problem that keeps you tossing and turning, staring at the ceiling when you should be in dreamland. It's more than just an occasional restless night, it's a consistent struggle that impacts your life in more ways than one. Whether it's the elusive Sandman who's to blame or something more complex, we're here to shed some light on this nocturnal nuisance. By liking this video and subscribing to our channel, you're joining an informative venture aimed at understanding insomnia better. Together, we'll be unraveling its causes, symptoms, and various treatment options available. So, if you're ready to say goodbye to those sleepless nights, you're in the right place. Stay tuned, as we delve deeper into the world of insomnia. What exactly is insomnia, you may ask? Well, let's dive right into it. Insomnia, in its simplest form, is a sleep disorder. But it's not your run-of-the-mill, I had one bad night kind of sleep problem. No, insomnia is when you consistently find it hard to fall asleep or stay asleep, even when you have the opportunity to do so. It's those nights when you're staring at the ceiling at 3 in the morning, begging for sleep to come, but it just doesn't. And it's not just one or two nights, it's a regular occurrence that starts to interfere with your day-to-day -day life. Now there are two main types of insomnia that we need to talk about. Acute and chronic. Let's start with acute insomnia. This type is brief and often happens because of life circumstances. Perhaps you've got a big presentation at work tomorrow, or you've just received some unsettling news. It's those nights when your mind is racing, and no matter how tired your body is, sleep seems to evade you. Typically, acute insomnia resolves on its own without any need for treatment. But then there's chronic insomnia. Now this is where things get a bit more serious. Chronic insomnia is defined as disrupted sleep that occurs at least three nights per week and lasts at least three months. It's persistent, it's relentless, and it's absolutely draining. Chronic insomnia can be a disorder in its own right, but it often stems from other health problems or the misuse of sleep aids or substances. So there you have it. Insomnia is more than just a bad night's sleep. It's a persistent, often debilitating issue that can significantly impact your life. It's the silent battle that millions of people fight every night, trying to catch those elusive Zs. Now that we know what insomnia is, you might be wondering what causes it. Well, make sure you stick around because that's exactly what we're going to delve into next. Insomnia doesn't just happen, it's caused by various factors. So let's delve into some of these culprits, shall we? First off, we have stress. Stress is like that uninvited guest at your party who just won't leave. It's a major contributor to insomnia. When your mind is constantly buzzing with worries about work, school, health, finances, or family, it can be difficult to switch off and fall asleep. Your brain is on overdrive trying to solve these problems, and this mental activity can keep you awake. Next up, we have anxiety and depression. These emotional disorders are like the evil twins of insomnia. Anxiety often comes with racing thoughts and an overactive mind, both of which can make sleep elusive. Depression, on the other hand, can either cause you to sleep too much or too little. It's a tricky beast, as lack of sleep can also lead to depression. It's a vicious cycle, really. Then there's medication. Some drugs used to treat conditions like high blood pressure, asthma, and depression can interfere with sleep. Even some over-the-counter medications for common ailments like colds, allergies, and pain can cause insomnia. It's always a good idea to have a chat with your doctor or pharmacist about potential side effects of any medication you're taking. Finally, we have lifestyle choices. Late-night binge-watching, consuming caffeine or alcohol before bed, irregular sleep schedules, or even an uncomfortable sleep environment can all contribute to insomnia. Remember what you do during the day can significantly impact how you sleep at night. So, as you can see, insomnia is not just about being unable to sleep. It's a complex issue with many contributing factors. But don't worry, understanding these causes is the first step in finding a solution. Knowing the causes is crucial, but how would you know if you're suffering from insomnia? Let's explore that in our next scene. What are the signs that you might have insomnia? That's a question many of us may have asked ourselves at some point. So, let's delve into the common symptoms that could indicate the presence of this sleep disorder. One of the most prominent signs of insomnia is difficulty falling asleep. You might find yourself lying awake for hours, tossing and turning, unable to drift off. This can be particularly frustrating, especially when you're tired and crave nothing more than a good night's sleep. Another symptom is waking up during the night. You might find yourself suddenly alert, even if you've only been asleep for a short while. 
This can happen multiple times throughout the night, making it hard to get a full, uninterrupted sleep. And then there's the morning. For those with insomnia, waking up can be just as challenging. You may wake up earlier than you'd like and struggle to fall back asleep. Despite spending hours in bed, you might wake up not feeling well rested. It's as if the sleep you've managed to get was shallow and not truly restorative. Daytime tiredness or fatigue is another telltale symptom. It's a feeling of constant exhaustion, a lack of energy that can interfere with your daily activities. You might struggle to concentrate, find your memory isn't as sharp, and you might be more prone to mistakes and accidents. Irritability and mood changes can also be indicators of insomnia. Lack of sleep can affect your emotional well-being, making you feel more anxious, depressed, or even quick to anger. These symptoms can be disruptive, impacting not just your sleep, but your daily life as well. They can affect your performance at work or school, your relationships, and your overall quality of life. But here's the good news. If you recognize these symptoms, don't panic. There are several treatments available. And we'll be exploring these in our next segment. So, if you're struggling with sleep, stay tuned. You're not alone and help is available. Insomnia can be treated, and here's how. Firstly, let's talk about lifestyle changes. They are often the first line of defense in the battle against insomnia. These include maintaining a consistent sleep schedule, limiting exposure to screens before bed, and creating a sleep-friendly environment. Regular exercise and a healthy diet can also play a significant role in improving sleep quality. And let's not forget about cutting down on caffeine and alcohol, both known adversaries of a good night's sleep. Next, therapy can also be a powerful tool in managing insomnia. Cognitive behavioral therapy for insomnia, often referred to as CBTI, is one such technique. It helps people change thoughts and behaviors that disrupt sleep and trigger insomnia. CBTI can involve techniques like sleep restriction, where you limit the amount of time spent in bed to the actual time spent sleeping, and stimulus control, which helps remove factors that condition your mind to resist sleep. But what if lifestyle changes and therapy aren't enough? That's where medication comes into play. Over-the-counter sleep aids can help in the short term, but they're not designed for long-term use. Prescription medications can also be used, but they should be taken under the guidance of a healthcare professional and they're typically a last resort after other treatments have been tried without success. There are also natural remedies to consider. Melatonin supplements, for example, can help regulate sleep-wake cycles, and herbs like valerian root and chamomile have been used for centuries to promote relaxation and sleep. Remember, the right treatment for insomnia can vary from person to person. It can often be a process of trial and error to find the most effective approach. But the good news is that there are plenty of options available, and with a little patience and perseverance, relief from insomnia can be achieved. Insomnia can be a challenge, but understanding it is the first step towards a good night's sleep. So, what have we learned about insomnia today? We've delved into the heart of what insomnia truly is, a common sleep disorder that can make it hard to fall asleep, hard to stay asleep, or cause you to wake up too early and not be able to get back to sleep. We've explored the many causes of insomnia, from stress and anxiety to certain medical conditions. We've identified the common symptoms to look out for, such as daytime tiredness, irritability, and difficulty focusing. And most importantly, we've highlighted the various treatments available from lifestyle changes and cognitive behavioral therapy to medication when necessary. Insomnia is common, but it's also treatable. It's crucial to remember that if you're struggling with sleep, you're not alone and there are solutions available. So don't be afraid to reach out, seek help, and start on the path towards better sleep. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your sleep. Sweet dreams.